right, everybody. We haven't won it yet in 2023, so we're doing it today. Ooh. Winning $5 million on a $20 California lottery scratcher. Let's get to it. It's the Millionaire Bucks. It's ticket number six, a little white line across the top. Yeah. It's interesting where that white line can show up. Sometimes it's on the bottom. Sometimes on, it's on the top. Sometimes we think it means something. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> really no pattern. Gosh, I wish we could talk to somebody who worked at the lottery and like the, ooh, there we go, 14. Hey. Guess it means a winner in this case. Uh, <laughs> wish we could talk to somebody in the lottery office and be like, do you know what the white line means? And they probably have no clue what we're talking about, right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll be like, yes, it means nothing. It's just a printing thing. <laughs> we have seen other odd printing things before, like there were was that ticket was it this ticket uh yeah that has that like pink spot in pink that blob the pink blob in the same spot and uh we saw it on a couple tickets and then a little while went by and we bought some more tickets and they were there too um didn't really connect to any winners though so <laughs> oh, does. 42 nice. this one does yep 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 all right oh and another okay. 42 okay all right and a 33 okay well so we got three matches so far what could that mean? Let's see if there's any more. Now, this ticket we love because this is the only ticket we've ever got a claimer on, which is a single prize over $600 here in California. That's right. So if you want to go see that, check our biggest wins playlist. It's definitely on there because it is our biggest <laughs> win ever since we started scratching. So uh, you could definitely check that out and see what that's all about. But wow. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else hiding here. Uh -huh. And there's one oh, more. Okay. Nice. okay. So four matches. Interesting. All right. What do we got? Could this be our second claimer? It could be. How crazy would that be? <laughs> the same dang ticket. <laughs> that would be cool. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can find. What do you got? 63. You got oh, nice. 20. That is nice. That is not nice. Let's hope we keep that vibe going and, right. you know, increase it too. What do we got? What do we got? We got nice. another 20 here. We got ourselves five <laughs> random. <laughs> okay, so we're at 45 and we got one more to go. This number 14 right here. What does this make it? It makes it 50. Okay, okay, cool. Didn't see that coming. Fun little combo. So $50 right out of the gate on a $20 scratcher. I like it. Uh, but you know us. We got we got some more to go. Okay, here we go. Ticket number seven. What do you got, Hayden? Um, now, I know this isn't the most popular ticket out there uh, here among the scratchers in California. <laughs> it's kind of boring. Not going to lie. Nothing fancy. No cool symbols or themes or anything like that right <laughs> yeah so and it's kind of an older ticket now so yeah. it's like if you're into watching scratchers you're like seen it boring <laughs> um but here is the crazy thing it is producing wins right yeah like up again. Uh, still a lot of jackpots out there so four out of the five jackpots still available on this ticket and for an older scratcher that's pretty darn good to yep. still have a four out of five out there and then, like we said, we hit our claimer on this ticket. And then one of our friends in the Scratcher community, uh, I don't know if you've seen his video, Budweiser, yeah. if you've watched any of his videos, um, he just hit a claimer on this ticket as well. So uh, go check out his channel and see that. But oh my gosh, this ticket is heating up. And here is the crazy phenomenon about our ticket, our win, our claimer, yeah. and Budweiser's claimer is on the exact same number number two yeah zero zero two to be technically correct yeah. <laughs> was what we got our claimer on and that's the exact number he got his claimer on too which is so crazy i mean I know, right? what i don't know what the odds are of that i mean i guess there's 30 <laughs> tickets blah 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 somebody could probably technically figure out those odds somebody way <laughs> smarter than us but yeah ticket number two so um if you're a believer in you know certain numbers are lucky for certain yeah. games or if you think there's patterns like the early numbers are good um wow ticket number two a millionaire bucks a good one. if you if you see it i don't know if we find ticket number two we're scratching it that's it <laughs> the hubby the hubby is on the lookout now for ticket number two now is this ticket still around a lot babe um actually it's getting a little bit hard to find okay yeah, yeah i would think because it's older and that's normally how it works you know yeah. just one of these days it goes from you see it everywhere to like hey wait where did that yep. ticket go <laughs> 
It's been pulled from the local machines around here. Oh, the vending machines. That's yeah. where it goes first because the lotto reps like have full control over that. I whereas so, yeah. some of the stores, you know, they like to it's sell like what they got. The little mom and pop liquor stores. Yeah. They'll hold on to longer. Yeah. So you can maybe still find them there. But the vending machines, not so much. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. Ticket number two clearly is the jam. Hubby's a believer kind of in the early number tickets That's on true. this game, right? We've had some good wins on them. Yeah. So, I mean, the hubby's right. We have our good wins on this game have come on the early tickets, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm much of a believer in the early ticket, late ticket thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's nope. really, uh, you know, my cup of tea, but hey, whatever. If it brings the win, I don't care what number it is, right? That's it. And we're still looking for that diamond symbol on this ticket. That's an instant $500 win when you find that. And uh, as we just saw with one of our friends, um, you can find the diamond symbol and mix it with more money on top. <laughs> so that's cool. I just always, in my mind, figured, oh, if you find that $500 diamond symbol, then that's, that's it. it. Like, cool, you won 500 bucks. But I never thought it could be part of a bigger prize and mix it all in there. So... Uh, so yeah, so definitely on the lookout for that bad boy. Right. Uh, that would be good to add to our little scratcher collection, right? You know, it's kind of sure. weird when you become a YouTube lotto scratcher channel, like somehow randomly we did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't plan on that, but it just kind of slowly happened on its own. And here we are two years later. But yeah, you kind of, when you scratch every day, you get yourself a little bucket list of like, ooh, I want to find the win all symbol. Yeah. I want to see the tiger symbol, you know, I want to see a 50 X. And yeah, definitely that diamond symbol is on our list of things we want to see that we haven't seen yet. Oh yeah. So let's make that happen today that'd be a great way to get this new year rocking right yeah definitely had to write the date for the first time today didn't have to do that yesterday but today <laughs> i did and i'm like made it through it like seriously i had to like pause and tell myself 2023 right yeah. 2023 <laughs> i did good you guys i didn't have to scratch it out or do anything like that but the struggle is real <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for the support. We talked about this the other day about how I still write checks. Thank yep. you to all my fellow check writers out there. <laughs> it's gl I'm glad to know I'm not alone that people of all ages still choose to write checks. I don't know. I feel more in control with my checkbook than, you know, my like friends are. that paper record. Yeah. And my friends are always like, well, you can just check the website. I'm like, how do I know that they're adding it up correctly? <laughs> But then, you know, probably more than likely, I would be the one who would make a mistake in math over a That's computer. True, huh? But <laughs> in my mind, I'm like, oh, no, they're going to make some sort of math mistake. And I'll never know because I'm just checking them. <laughs> just check the website and trust it. But no, no. So silly me. So anyways, thanks for the support. Yep. Everybody who understands <laughs> that check writers still do exist. <laughs> We're people, too. Right. We deserve uh. respect, too. All right, come on, let's go. Oh, okay, here we go, guys. This is our last one. I'm going to rub it for luck, kind of like I do with the slot machine. I do that sometimes <laughs> with the, on the bonus wheel. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this slot machine's probably filthy as I'm like rubbing my hand yeah. on it. <laughs> Don't worry, I keep a thing, of, a thing of Perel in my uh, <laughs> purse. <laughs> All right, come on, 57. Where are you Hello. hiding? Nope. 58, close. 62. 63 and all right come on here we go here we go we got ah 67 okay well we started off strong and yeah. then kind of petered out a bit <laughs> <laughs> but what we scratched 100 babe yep okay we got 50 back and 50 percent back in the world of the lottery actually is not too shabby but that's <laughs> again yeah why we tell you gamble responsibly so uh tomorrow we're gonna win the millions hope you're there with us and thanks for hanging out today bye